Introducing the Winchester Air Rifle Specs Model 1977XS 4.5 millimeter 177 caliber dual ammo BB or pellet. Uh, an overall length of 37.6 inches, weight 3.1 pounds, 1,000 feet per second. Rug durable composite stock and forearm grip, along with a crossbolt trigger block safety, adjustable rear sight. Let's not forget about the blade front sight. Uh, the rifle steel barrel that it comes with. Not only that, but it also includes a 4x32 millimeter scope. Uh, let's not uh, let's not forget about the single loading cross bolt loading port, and this is a multi pump air gun. Now, don't forget while you're at the store, go ahead and pick up some Winchester ammunition, dome pointed and hollow point for the backyard plinking or hunting scenarios. So let's open this thing up, put it together, and see what we got. So I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an unboxing, a real quick one. All right, so here we go. All right. So there you have it. The Winchester, just like the Daisy A80, same makers, thumb hole, ambidextrous. Um, so there you have it, beautiful polymer stock. So let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff out of the box. So we got that beautiful scope. There she goes. And the manual. guys this is the chronograph test we're testing the winchester 1977 model xs uh, we're going to be using the crossman dome pellets 7.0 grain that's 7.0 grains um, and this is going to be pretty much muzzle range velocity Alright guys, this is 10 pumps. So once again, the Winchester 1977 XS, we're going to be using the dome 177 caliber 7.0 grains dome pellets from Crossman. And just in case, if you're new out here, please like, please subscribe, share the content. Each one of these stones represent 10 steps. Obviously we have a eight inch target down range. And uh, we're going to see how this Winchester works out. All right, guys, we're done with the chronograph test. And now we're going to be pretty much sending five pellets down range to see the kind of accuracy the Winchester XS has. As you can see, the uh, ambidextrous thumb hole. Um, we're going to be using the same ammunition, same ammunition, uh, 177 caliber 7.0 grain dome pellets and um, we're going to be shooting five shots at the target to see what kind of accuracy we have so let's see what happens this is 10 pumps by the way
a little bit wind here. We're going for shot number two. We're still having plenty of wind out here. What are the odds? But uh, we're gonna keep continuing. <sighs> wind pretty much settled down, so we're gonna go ahead and try to take a shot. last shot we'll go ahead and take it before the wind comes all right guys so we're back from the testing range and back to the laboratory with my winchester hat uh we're getting into the winchester spirit so what we're going to be doing next is basically diagnosing the pounds on the factory trigger. So uh, what is the benefit of this? Uh, basically bench rest shooters and hunters prefer a better trigger and people that just like to modify their trigger. So let's find out what kind of trigger we can get from the uh, factory. This is a trigger gauge. If you're not familiar, this is LED. So let's find out what kind of trigger uh, we can get from this uh, Winchester 1977, a uh, 5.8. Now, I believe a uh, Daisy A80 has a heavier trigger, and I'll explain to you why. Stick around when I talk about the pros and the cons of the Winchester 1977. So, let's talk about the pros of the Winchester 1977. It is lightweight, a nice, sleek, polymer tactical look, uh, ambidextrous thumb hole, obviously a bigger scope. It's really cool. Like I said, it is dual ammo. Uh, you can load 50 BBs in this loading port and it will load them single one at a time by this magnetized crossbow. Um, you can also load your pellets through here individually, um, kind of like the downfall. But like I said, this thing is a um, economic air gun. Uh, so basically when the stuff hits the fan, this is a good air gun to have. Obviously it has more FPS. So let's talk about it. Um, it is under $90 at Academy and you do get an ambidextrous thumb hole and a curvature on the trigger. So this is the reason why I believe that this model is a better uh, trigger model than the Daisy A80 because the trigger is more about at an angle and it also has a curvature for the fingertip and it almost fits. It almost like the trigger almost grabs onto your finger when you set it on there. And um, basically, it's better for bench rest shooters and hunters. And I believe that this is a hunting rifle. And it basically has the more tactical look to it. Uh, if you don't like that, you can settle for the Daisy A80. You can find the Daisy A80 on First State Air Guns website. Go down there and check that out. Uh, you'll find it around $40. Uh, not bad. Uh, the way these prices are uh, economically high, but um, there's someone out there that's basically pushing the product at a lower price. So basically go check that out at First State Air Guns for the Daisy 80 model. If not, settle for the Winchester 1977 XS at Academy for $80. So it's around $89.99. Um, so uh, like I said, it has a 50 BB capacity port. It's got a rifle barrel. I usually use pellets. I don't use any BBs because obviously if you're kind of um, basically air gun savvy, you would know that the BBs would basically mess up your rifling. But, um, you know, that's another story for another time. Um, what else we can talk about this thing? It's got a bigger scope, nice bigger scope, obviously more FPS. Um, I've chronographed the Daisy A80 before and it kicks up to 640 something feet per second. Um, this one obviously kicks up to 740, 780, something like that. Um, not bad, more FPS, 
when you apply the more accurate pellet, depending on the grain that you use, it all depends from there. So more FPS with an accurate pellet, you cannot, you know, a little bit more bragging rights, basically, uh, basically what I'm saying. So um, let's talk about the cons. So the cons to the rifle, basically there's adversity on both sides. So let's talk about the single loading pellet. I know I said earlier that it's uh, good for economic, but like I said, you load it single at a time. Some individuals don't like that. So I'm just letting you know that some individuals don't like it. So I'm giving uh, a little bit of both. So it, you load it single at a time. There is no barrel device, uh, no rail attachments. There's nothing like that, but it's awfully quiet and rail attachments. I don't know yet. We'll find out since it's going to be a hunting rifle. More likely, I'll probably be able to do that. So uh, no sling mounts, um, none whatsoever usually comes in, in these price packages. Um, no pellet storage compartment. Obviously, that's just about every other gun. And uh, especially about this one, you don't see a power dial on this rifle scope, which is, I mean, it's okay. You know, 80, 80, $80 90 almost close to 90 bucks. Not bad. Um, that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's a very good rifle. Uh, very accurate depending on what pellet you use there's so many pellets out there it's hard to decide which one it's hard to you know whatever works for you basically if i were you i would basically go with that so whatever's working for you just keep using it and if you are a big fan of daisy a80s go down like i said to my buddy out there in first aid air guns check out his website for cheap prices on the daisy a80s and uh, you can't ask for a better price than what he's asking for him right now at this time of day. So, guys, well, what do you think about the Winchester 1977? Put your comments below. Uh, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you so much. All the veterans all across uh, seas doing what they have to do. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, long live the Republic. So, guys, until next time on Airstream, take care of yourselves. Stay healthy.